Hey, it's Whitney. I wanted to show you guys how I made this football spread in my journal. So I'm gonna switch over and describe kind of what I did, but I'll also take you on a step-by-step -step little tutorial on how to make your own from your own notebook and your own team. So this is the schedule for Auburn. I put all the home games on one side and all the away games on the other, and I put little arrows connecting each one. So it's kind of cool. Then I put actually where the games were with these little states, um, trace those in there and put actually where these away games take place. So I want to show you the whole process so you can make one for yourself. I did this on Instagram the other week and I did the Panther schedule. Uh, it's a little more condensed because they have a little um, more games, but I have not, obviously haven't finished this one. Um, but I'm gonna, take you step by step on how to get it all drawn out um, and how to separate everything and make it flow. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so if you go to this URL in your browser, I'll show you incognito. And you can save it to your own drive. Yeah, you can't edit it here, but you can save it to your own drive as long as you're signed in, so. So if you're signed in, you can go to file and then make a copy. And then you can uh, copy a scheduled calculator is what I'll call it. And then now you can go in and edit if your team is different or your notebook is different. So maybe 12 teams, that was for my Auburn one yesterday. And then you can change it if there's 18 games, it'll show you just change up the numbers. So there's 17 games in my case. Each of the ones is gonna be two squares tall, so I'm gonna lock two squares. I did print out their schedule so I could look at home and away games. So I know that there's 17 games. I'm using, using the regular season. And I know I'm gonna have three, according to that little thing, of extra rows up top if I make two high each one. Grab your pencil first. And we're gonna count out each of the two. So I'm gonna start off with three up top. That's gonna be my heading area and then each one is going to be two below it. So yes that's 17 games and then we'll number these. Okay and then we want to look at whether they're home or away. So this has the verses and the at. I think they're, you know, they're color coded. So the home ones are blue and then the away ones are black. Okay, so now I'm looking at the schedule and I know that these are gonna be the home in blue and then away is gonna be the black. So the very first one is gonna be home or away. So I'm just gonna put a little mark on here. It's gonna be away. And then home is gonna be the second. These are just kind of marking what page I'm going to draw these on. I'm going to go down and do the blue ones first. So I didn't realize they included the bye week here, which is fine. I'm just going to put just like a one right in the middle there. That'll be their bye week. So that's four. That's where I got confused. And then five will be away. Six will be home, and seven, and then eight and nine will be away. 10 and 11, 12, make sure I'm still lined up here. 13, 14 is... All right, so these are kind of the areas that I'm wanting to draw the schedules in to draw the opponents and I can just draw a zigzag line all the way from the top to the bottom and then that's where I'm just going to kind of letter the uh, the games. So start here and I'm just going to draw a zigzag. Alright so now I'm going to letter the names of who we're playing in pen. 
So this is actually, I screwed it up. I was looking at, these are switched, but that's why I draw in pencil first. So this is a way over here. And this is home. So I'm using a thicker tip pen here. This is the Tombow Mono Drawing Pen, the thickest one they make. And I'm just going down and using the guidelines that I put in the middle as to where I'm adding these team names. So the left side is the away games, the right side is the home games. And once I get finished, I'll use that arrow kind of as a guideline to connect everything. And this doesn't have any of the postseason games or anything. This is just their regular season. The 17 uh, weeks is included, and I do have a little just space for the bye week with nothing there. And I'm using my favorite helix ruler. This is the one with the cork back that I always talk about to make the boxes around these. You could do any kind of shape. I'm just doing a simple box. And since there's so many games here, some of them are overlapping, but I think it kind of gives it character. And now I'm just adding the arrows. So I'm kind of just mapping from game to game, the order of the games. And you can get crazy here. You can do whatever kind of arrows you want, but I just love the look of the dashed arrows. All right, and there is the final schedule. So now you can just decorate it however you please. I'm gonna share a few that you have made and shared with me after watching the Instagram tutorial. And here is a few versions that you guys shared with me after my Instagram session. Make sure if you do make your own schedule to tag Life by Whitney, because I wanna see your versions too. but I love how this thing turned out and I hope you got some help out of it. Definitely share it if you made this too. All right, so that is it. I hope you guys found that helpful. This is how mine turned out at the end. Uh, all I did was add the title up here. There's definitely room for more decoration and everything. This is how the Auburn one turned out. So another video, I'll show you exactly how to do these states and how to trace over and make these little logos perfect, but that is for next time. If you like this, please like the video and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much. Oh, also, if you shared it, definitely tag me on Instagram at Life by Whitney. I would love to see it and share it with my followers as well. So thank you guys so much for tagging along. I will see you guys next time. Bye.